In other news, the South Africa is holding a week of events to mark the passing of the anti-apartheid leader Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who died on Sunday aged 90. The plans include two days of lying in state before an official state funeral on 1st of January in Cape Town. Tributes following the death of Archbishop Desmond Tutu have been pouring in from leaders around the world, including Queen Elizabeth II, US President Joe Biden, and Pope Francis. On Sunday, South Africans of all ages and backgrounds stopped by Cape Town St. George's Cathedral to lay flowers and pay tribute to the country's national hero. In honor of Tutu, the bells of the cathedral, the oldest in South Africa, will be rung daily at noon local time until Friday. Tutu's death comes just weeks after that of South Africa's last appetite era president, F.W.D. Clark, who died at the age of 85. A contemporary of Nelson Mandela, Tutu was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984 for his role in the struggle to abolish the appetite system enforced by the white minority governments against the black majority in South Africa from 1948 to 1991. After Mandela became South Africa's first black president in 1994, Tutu was appointed to a Truth and Reconciliation Commission set up to investigate crimes committed by both whites and blacks during the apartheid era. He will be remembered among many South Africans as a man of courage and clarity of his moral fury. For Prime Edition, I'm Rahma Shanko.